Uh, good day, it's Ruan here, and you can visit my channel on youtube.com forward slash tunnelvision TV. Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to do a blood hit, um, if you want to use that in one of your movies, like an action movie where someone gets hit by a bullet. So, let's get started. Um, I've got After Effects CS5, so first of all, let's drag our movie into that. Okay, so this is the clip that I'm going to use, and we're going to add some blood effect here. So let's just move over to the point where we want to start adding that. Okay, what I'm going to make use of is Action Essentials 2 from Video Copilot. So we're going to that, and what I'm going to use is Powder Hits. And I think it's number six. Let's just preview that quickly. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so we just drag that into After Effects and just drag it on top of the movie clip. On the timeline, we're just going to move over to where the blood is supposed to start. Let's do a frame forward and frame back, so about there should be good. And I'm just going to drag the timeline over of that one clip. So as you can see there it starts and it bursts something like that so what I'm going to do I'm going to select the powder read and I'm just going to move it over to right about there and then we also want to mask this so you highlight that clip the powder read and go to your eclipse tool and just drag a bit of a eclipse something like that Okay, so what you want to do with that eclipse is you want to feather it. So go down to your mask, expand it, and just bring the feather up to about, let's say, 26. That should be fine. And what we have is just that dust blowing out of there. I think we have to bring up the feather a little bit more. So let's bring it up to about, let's make it about 15. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select the powdery hit and we're going to right click on it and go to effects, color correction, tint. And what we can do then is map, currently it's set to map the black to the white. So we're going to change the black to like a grayish color and then change the white to a red, reddish color. So you can just play with the brightness of that. Depends on how bright, bright you want that blood to, to be. So if we play it now, you get like a sort of a blood spraying effect. Okay, it's a bit much. So what we're going to do is just go back into that powder effect. Right click, go to effects, color correction, go to curves. And we're just going to bring it, make it a bit darker. So you just bring this down a bit. Okay, you can see that looks a lot better. And I think what we can do is make it start right about there. Okay, also what I want to do is I want to change the mask. I just want to drag the mask out a bit. So if we just pull that back a bit, maybe pull that down a bit. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's also a lot better. And then what you can do is, once you've got the spray, um, say about half a second, you can let that spray just fade out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on that layer, I'm going to hit T for opacity, and I'm going to make a keyframe. And I'm just going to move forward a couple of frames, and I'm going to bring it down to zero. So that will basically just fade out that bloody, like so. Maybe you can extend it a little bit. Let's have a look. There we go. And it's as simple as that. Alright, thank you for watching. And remember to visit my channel on youtube.com forward slash tunnelvision TV. And please subscribe. Thank you.